king when it comes to fall treats. Yes, but if you have been to the store in the last few weeks, certainly you've noticed pumpkins are just about everywhere. WLWT News so Eric Zarnitz has all the tasty details for us. This is the time of year you see pumpkin everywhere. Pumpkin rolls, pumpkin whoopie pies, pumpkin bread, pumpkin pie, and oh yeah, don't forget the pumpkin donuts, but that's just the start of pumpkin. A taste of fall is a phrase normally used to describe the weather. But don't tell Jackson that. Mm, At the Hidden Valley Fruit Farm in Lebanon, pumpkins are part of the fall landscape. From warty to white, big ones to small ones, Ohio ranks as the third largest pumpkin producer. We got a lot of pumpkins. We got so many. And while picking is popular, the pumpkin taste and flavor seems to be trending up. There's so much growing of pumpkins going on, and there's also consumer demand. They like, you know, they like the healthfulness of pumpkins and the carotene in pumpkins. So I, th I think you're going to see nothing but it continue. This year, main consumer brands even seem to be catching on to the craze with everything from pumpkin spice Pringles, pumpkin hummus, pumpkin Greek yogurt, and even pumpkin spice deodorant. And while a pumpkin spice latte may taste good, it's hard to beat the tried and true. <laughs> now, if you want to make your own kind of pumpkin treat, well, first you need the sugar pie pumpkin. It's a little smaller, sweeter, and much easier to boil down and get into any of those other treats. Reporting from the Hidden Valley Fruit Farm, Eric Zarnitz, WLWT, News 5 in mm. Lebanon. <laughs> so the moderate summer, we're told, along with just enough sun and rain, has made this year a great one for pumpkin farming here in the Midwest. And while, you know, Ohio is a major player, Illinois produces half the nation's pumpkins.